Good morning, my dear friends. Welcome to Tanali Parshala. So, in today's class, we are going to discuss regarding how to score 70 out of 70 marks in chemistry by studying only 6 chapters out of 13 to 14 chapters. You can study only 6 chapters and you can get out of what marks, nothing but 70 out of 70. First, we will see what is the pattern of the question paper and uh, remember, this is only for this academic year, 2021 and 22 only. See guys, uh, this is the question paper pattern, 2021-22. Uh, Already the model question paper is issued by PU board. I hope you all of you seen that. If you are not seen, just go through the website and see. Uh, uh, the question paper contains four part, part A, part B, part C and part D. Part A, one mark, part B, two mark, part C, three mark question and part D, five mark questions. In one mark questions, you are having 15 questions. You Out of 15 questions, you have to write only 10 questions. Part B, two mark questions. Again, 10 questions are there. Out of 10 questions, you have to write only 5 questions. Three mark questions. Again, you are having 10 questions. Out of 10 questions, you have to write only 5 questions. And remember guys, this three mark questions is only responsible for inorganic chemistry. That means all the three mark questions are asked from inorganic chemistry only. Next in part D, again two main parts are there. Question, main question number 4 and main question number 5. Main question number 4 and main question number 5 belongs to 5 mark question. But main question number 4, you have to get the questions from physical chemistry only. Or, uh, out of uh, 11 questions, sorry. Out of 11 questions, you have to answer 5 questions here. So these are all 11 questions are asked from physical chemistry. Next one, main question number 5. Here you are uh, having, you have to answer two questions out of four questions and these all four questions are belongs to organic chemistry only. I hope you understood. This is a question paper pattern. This is uh, based on the model question paper issued by PU board. Now you see guys how to get 70 out of 70 by studying only six chapters. See guys. So these are, I have already written there. These are the six chapters you are going to study and See guys, first one thermodynamics, equilibrium, chemical bonding, P block elements, redox reaction. Thermodynamics, equilibrium, these are from physical chemistry. Chemical uh, bonding, P block elements, redox reaction, these are from inorganic chemistry. And uh, some basic principles or techniques, either you do some basic principles and techniques of organic chemistry or hydrocarbons. Out of these two, you can study any one according to your commitment but the out of these two one should be studied because in organic chemistry separate part is there following or not so these are physical chemistry these three form inorganic chemistry and any one of this uh, uh, chapter from the organic chemistry so only six chapter you can study it how to get out of both marks see guys how you are getting in thermodynamics one mark one question two mark one question and five mark two questions Equilibrium, 5 or 3 questions are going to be arised in equilibrium. Chemical bonding, 1 mark 1, 2 mark 1, 3 mark 3 questions. P block elements, 1 mark 2, 2 mark 1, 3 mark 2. Redox reaction, 1 mark 1, 2 mark 1, 3 mark 1. And again, so if you choose some basic principles and techniques, you will get 1 mark 2 questions, 2 mark 1 questions and 5 marks 2 questions. That too, main question number 5. See that. Organic chemistry belongs to main question number 5. There you are getting 2 questions. And here also, if you choose hydrocarbons, 1 mark 1, 2 mark 1 and 5 mark 2. Again, it belongs to the main question number 5 only. Following my point. That means if you study uh, some basic principles and techniques, there also you are getting 5 mark 2 questions. If you choose hydrocarbons, there also you are getting 5 mark 2 questions. And you have to answer only 5 mark 2 questions in uh, section part D, section main question number 5. Following my point, that means you can choose this one or you can choose this one. Then you count the number of questions. See guys, one mark question, how many you are getting? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Correct. So if you choose this one, you will get the 7 questions here. And if you choose, uh, see, second mark, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 questions. You have to answer only 5 questions here. 2 more questions you are getting 6. You have to answer only 5. Even though you are having one choice here. 
Next three more question you just count guys three four five six again here also you're getting six questions only you have to answer four question uh, five questions five more question part four part D my main question number four you have to answer five questions see guys one two three five questions already over and here so you can go for here either you can go for this one again you can go for this one you will get two questions here. That means except one more question, all questions are covered. Even though some extra questions you are having, right? By in spite of doing only, uh, in spite of doing fourteen chapter, you can do only six chapters, and you can cover entire thing, correct or not? But thing is that in one more question you are getting only seven questions. That means you have to study some one more questions, uh, simple simple one more questions like a definition of molarity, molarity, normality. What is the value of one amu? Carbon value like that. Some simple questions, one more questions from some basic concept of chemistry, and also some one more questions from uh, chemistry in everyday life, like uh, what is acid rain, like that questions. Uh, Alright or not? Some simple one more questions you have to study from remaining chapter one or two chapters, so that then can be covered. So if you study one more questions from chemistry in everyday life, you will get two one more questions there. That means seven plus two nine. And if you study one more question from some basic concept of chemistry, you will get ten out of ten questions here also. Following my point, uh, by doing all these chapter six chapters and plus one more questions of some basic concept of chemistry, nothing but I have already did a video on important questions and fixed questions chapter wise. So if you have not seen that, the link is given in the description. First go through that and then come to this one. Nothing but definition of molarity, normality like that. Okay, and in chemistry in everyday life, you just study one more questions. If you want, I will provide a question bank also. So regarding uh, chemistry in everyday life, one more questions, right? So if you study that means that thing and this thing, definitely will score seventy out of seventy in your annual examination. I hope you understood. If you want to take a screenshot, you can take it, guys. Yes, taken. Yes. Now see, guys. This is regarding how to score seventy out of seventy in chemistry, and important questions of chapter-wise important questions for first PUC chemistry already uploaded in the channel. So just go through that. Now in next video we are going to discuss regarding how to score seventy out of seventy in mathematics by doing only eight chapters out of sixteen chapters, so, uh, not seventy hundred out of hundred in mathematics by studying only eight chapters. And also, what are the fixed questions? Hundred percent guaranteed questions in mathematics. So many questions are there. All five mark questions, six mark questions, and four mark questions directly will get fixed questions in this uh, first uh, first PUC mathematics. We'll study those questions also, and also chapter wise important problems in mathematics also. I will going to discuss in the next video. Stay tuned, guys. So thanks for watching. So if you Hope this uh, video helpful to you. Uh, if it is uh, helpful to you, please share among this video to your friends also, so that everyone can get a benefit of it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.